Andy Man here with Initiative Coffee Company, and we are here with this week's episode of In the Red. Last time on In the Red, our heroes uh, maybe finished up in Wind's Hollow for the time being. Um, no. They no. Uh, they left, potentially putting Wind's Hollow behind them What's for that? now, uh, and we'll see. Uh, when or if they return to it, uh, who knows? Um, I don't, because they make wild decisions sometimes. Um, <clears throat> look, you're the one that said, Enix, you're going to make all the decisions this week, which means it's going to be all bad decisions. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm pumped about the <laughs> bad decisions you made, but who knows? Um... Other than that, last time uh, our friends uh, hit the old dusty trail, the uh, the sunset behind them, in front of them, uh, the gl- staring off into the sunset to the west, as their silhouettes uh, shrunk out of view from the good people of Winds Hollow in a. Uh, uh, delightfully western esque uh, genre moment. Uh, one question: uh, My expectation is Veruca is remaining in Winds Hollow. Are you leaving Baron there also? And I will ask that uh, to Dimitri because you're in charge this week. <clears throat> oh I joy! I called it. <laughs> you did call it. Do we leave Baron behind? Because. I feel like if we came back, Baron would be char- in charge of the town, in, you know, by the end point. So, because I'm trying to think, do we need Baron and George for our next adventures? Because we did just pick up Coop. So, hmm. You know what? Baron can stay behind, enjoy his life of his life of sandwich of what it, administrating. And whatever he decides to dabble into, we're right. we're gonna give him kind of free reign into whatever he makes and right. do whatever he needs. There. Um, he is still an employee, so you still have uh, kind of uh, contact with him. You don't have like a. Unfortunately, I guess like you have established a civil service core uh, that if you get to a new town and develop it in a similar fashion could work as a postal service to get a hold of Baron, but otherwise you'll have to come up with some sort of arcane shenanigans to uh, touch base with him without uh, specifically going back to Winsalo. Is there some way we can um, sort of hijack whatever magic is going on in the the little money pouch that gives money directly to... um... Use his clawed bottom and instead pass messages on to Baron. Uh, I will say that that is well beyond your talents. Uh, mm. You would have to you would have to be pretty skilled in like crafting magic items to take a crafted magic item and uncraft it and recraft it to do something else. Can we go talk to Torg? Can he make it for us? I want to see where the. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have him touch it yet. We we don't know what he can do. <laughs> Um, Torg might not, Torg might not be able to do that, but he might have something that can, like, just allow you to communicate with Baron in a less, uh, dangerous manner. Um. Yeah, but everything that we try and tell through Torg's thing is just gonna be just, ah! Like, that's just the sound that's gonna come through. (laughs) But wait, NX, don't you have speak with animals so you could send animal messengers? We can find carrier pigeons everywhere. <laughs> yes. I mean, there's not a lot of <laughs> pigeons in Bell, but there are a lot of carrier eagles, crows, and eagle, I guess a couple of eagles, hawks mostly, um, and plenty of dick birds. No, I don't want the dick birds. No, you don't want to. I know that this isn't my week to be in charge of this, but I'm declaring dick no dick birds. Right. <laughs> um, fair enough. Ooh. So I have in my notes that you all are taking one cart or two carts. 
Um, <laughs> how many do we own currently? Two. Those cards. You do own like a small one axle wagon as well, uh, but my expectation is you're leaving that behind because it's not yeah. super useful for you. Is but any... it might be really useful for like Jeffries. Are either of our carts like fancy, like an RV, like a uh, caravan like a style cart? No, they're yeah. um, they're both open carts. They're both open carts. Okay. Um. Well, how much stuff are we bringing, guys? Like, what do we want to bring with us? We're bringing all of our gear. Bringing all of our. Like, how much of this junk are we taking with us? I mean, we're all refilling Big Mar potions. Is the Big Mar statue a fixture? Inside the basement? Um, that depends. <laughs> the big bar um, component. The in big our bar potion statue could be a mobile big mar statue with skill checks, but it would take up an entire one of your carts. Oh. But I also don't shit. see a lot of other ways for you to benefit from the Big Mar potion unless you find other Big Mar statues. I was going to say, we haven't come <laughs> upon other a, statues. That could be a compartment that auto refills in our bags. Um, you, <laughs> do know so that, like, you do know that like the face spirits are... There are... There's not like one shrine to every spirit in Bell. Like the face oh, spirits right. are like... Like, uh, revered by various families, and largely if, like, that family was one that aligned with that spirit back in the day, they might have a shrine. So. Do we, do we have any, was there anyone in town that was uh, great at uh, cobbling stone and thing of, things of that nature? Make, like, a mini Big Mar? statue to bring with us no i don't know if they have magical fey properties though um no there's no there's no masons in Winsala. Okay. all right so we don't need all the extra crossbow scimitar scimitars any of the weapons any of these crates of herbs and spices those can all stay um we don't need the chimera meat how much money do we have I think we left off the last time we checked. You were at like three thousand gold because you spent quite that a checks. bit. You that spent sounds just about right. Quite a yeah, bit 30... on like the the civil servant corps, mm -hmm. and then you guys just spent like what three thousand gold on magic items, also. Just 16. 1600 gold. 1600. We, okay. we sold yeah. those. Um, yeah, yeah. But, all, but you're all, right. We're... All my money plus some of you, somebody else's money to buy you a magic bow. So, yeah. You're welcome. Um, yeah, that <laughs> checks out. I, I have, we have 3,100 gold pieces. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm guessing we can get that all transitioned to gems and stones and things to make it easier to transport. Um, yeah, for the sake of not absorbing all of your inventory, all of your carrying capacity, sure, you can get that translated to gems, um, meaning it goes from 300 pounds to about 100 pounds worth of gems yeah. and stuff. Just because like, like having three emeralds worth a thousand gold apiece is not particularly useful. Um, right, yeah. You know. So, uh, you can get it down to about a hundred gold worth of like gems and leftover coins. I'd say let's take two carts mm -hmm. so that in one of the carts we can at least have, um, all of our general gear, uh, the various potions and the, po the various potions that we've collected along the way mm -hmm. and provisions. Uh, is there anything else does anyone see that we should take with us? Because we're definitely stopping by the tower as we head west to grab more stuff and fill up maybe another cart. So what is y'all's opinion? Big Mar, yes, no? No. 
group? I think no. So. All right. Well, let's everyone fill up your big mar before we go, and we'll let us see. Does Roscoe have any like healing potions or anything like that for sale that we know uh, of? Or yeah, any he's vendors got, around? Uh, he's got uh, four greater healing potions. We're Is he now looking like a hundred gold apiece? Uh, is he looking for anything for trade? Like red dragon scales or things? Uh, no, he like, literally he just came and saved our butt during the battle. <laughs> yeah, you've already yeah. kind of exhausted your gold, your red dragon scale trade with Roscoe. He's done pretty much everything he can with them at this point. Yeah, let's let's just take the take the four. He does have potions. like three or four extra fire bombs if you want to take those, but. Did we have any left over of I those? We, I don't think we used really that many of them, did we? We didn't really use them, yeah. Mm. No. We still have all our cold grenades still, um, and there are a, a couple of fire dryness bombs. that you think you have? I think I have like three dust of dryness left, or no, I have like six dust of dryness. Six, I think I have like two or three, I think, on me, but... Inventory episode! It is! It, well, no, we're, we're gonna, it's only inventory for a little bit, and then we're going. Um, Do you have enough arrows? That's the real question here. I have right now seventy-eight arrows. Is that enough Not arrows? Not enough. That doesn't feel like enough arrows. That seals hundred short. Well, Torque also has, I think, three quivers worth of arrows for me, because that's why I lost so many. What as if they're arrows of punching you in the face? And by you, I mean the person that's shooting them. Because <laughs> that could very well happen, knowing how awry his stuff goes. That's true. It could um, be arrows of bludgeoning, but bludgeoning the owner. <laughs> yeah, is, is there any... Uh, yeah, what, another 100 arrows, guys? Does anyone else need ammo, or am I the only one who uses ammo? You're the only You're one the that uses only ammo. only one. Wait, didn't um, we have thousands because we converted a bunch? You had like 400, yeah. Right, not thousands. And I've, but I've yeah. used that many. And I gave Torque like 60 right. to work on. Um, So I would say we're bringing all of the colored potions that we still have as well. Yeah. So Potion of Invisibility, the Sea, sea Invisibility, Potion of Climbing, I think that kind of stuff. Okay. And then, so yeah, uh, so that's what four greater, four greater healing potions. But for uh -huh. four, if you're gonna drop four hundred gold, he will give you four greater healing potions. Sure. I will say that, like, to your knowledge, there are not a lot of places to spend gold in the wilds of Bell. So, right. That's why I'm yeah. kind of going through this. Uh, how much is a hundred arrows? A hundred arrows is five gold and five pounds. Sure. <clears throat> Does anyone else need anything right now? We can think of. Um. Let me take. I don't think so. I'm gonna repent. I I feel like I'm fine on my healers kits, so I had bought a lot of them, but I think they're like two silver pieces for one or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Let me see. I could be very much wrong. Um, your really... healing kits, because they are specialty items, are more expensive. Um. So instead of five gold, they're ten gold. I already had a oh. few as it was. Does anyone have like any ball bearings or small I metal do. orbs? I do. Oh, anybody for sale? Oh. Um, sure. Uh, Siegfried has some ball bearings that you can use to, I'm sure, make a bomb with. <clears throat> or bamboozle giants with. That could be. How much for the ball bearings? Oh, I think they're like 20 silver. Let me look. 
I'll give him a gold for all his wall bearings. That's 50 times what he just said. Okay. If we're throwing out money like that... I won't give him 50 gold. Um, A thousand ball bearings is one gold. A thousand ball bearings is one gold? And he has... Ten bags of a thousand ball bearings. Should you want ten thousand ball bearings? No, I'll just I'll take gold. I'll I'll take one bag of a thousand ball bearings. Okay. All right. Is anyone else need anything? I would like to get. Uh, oh, sorry. Good. Uh, I have questions. Does anybody in town have like cool rope? Cool rope. Cool yeah, rope. you know, like... I mean, y'all do, but... No, right. cool, I know that. cool, with a C, oh. not... Yeah. Fancy um, rope. So, like, oh, for your macrame. That's right, I forgot yeah, what for you do. Yeah, um, There is plenty of twine about. Yeah, uh, but is it cool twine? Like, I've got twine. Uh, I stock up on There's twine. one merchant in town that has... Um, a, a seemingly a very rare... Uh, brilliant red silk twine if twine comes in silk how much uh he has uh a hundred yards of it for 12 gold i'll take it okay is that a hundred yards yeah i don't know what the going rate for twine is but do you have like a do you have like a some way of getting in contact with you again uh like a like business it, card yeah you know for more yeah. in the future he gives you a like a a leather stamped item that has his brand name on it cool. it's he's a, he's a specialty kite vendor from the empire okay. uh and this is specifically the finest kite string in all the in all of of Val. That is sick. His brand name is Kites and Such. Kites. <laughs> cool. Does, if we're just um, throwing money. Oh, no, sorry. Does he sell? Uh... You know how uh, some umbrellas, or umbrellas, how some kites will have little, like, bows mm. on the, the string tailing it? Do they have, does he sell a, 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 a toad-sized one so I can give a little, like, a bow, bow tie? Oh, yeah. yeah. A, a really tiny one, just a little, you know. Yeah, he does have a single uh, bow tie, a, a single a bow about size. the ties, size of a bow tie for a toad. And he will throw it in along with the nice. kite string. Um, yeah. yeah, he is need to... fresh out of kites, though. He is sold out. Where did D and D Beyond though? Because I have to make sure that my toad. Has... <laughs> so, what are you looking for there, uh, Morty? Uh, if we're tossing money, I'd like to take get five healers kits, um, because they have charges in them, and I feel like they make pretty good use. If you're being so, if we're throwing money even more, I'd like more, but three to five would be nice to start with. But if there's any more than that, that'd be great. Because it Uh, depends on the supply. uh, There are five that are suitable for your talents. There's a bunch of like rudimentary healing kits that are not going to be as good. But yeah. They're lame. Do we want to take a Snapdragon with us? How many stab dragons are currently in uh, production there's like, at there's this like, point? There's like 11 of them now. <laughs> I like the idea that they're just... They grow like clone them. plants. You just take oh, a clipping and... Oh, neat. They're a they little propagate. Bit, yeah, they're a little bit <laughs> finicky, but like, if, you, if you've got the right environment, they grow. They, uh, I, I'll what was take that, 50, one. 50 gold for those healers kits? Yes. I'll take one, and then I'll also look at another one, and then I look at Spit's head, and yeah. I go, yeah, and then I hand you another one. So we Yeah! And then I look at everybody else, I'm like, they're so damn... Dragons. And I look at everyone else, and I'm like, I get the feeling of, like, that, like the dark face behind me. It's like, there's so many damn Snapdragons. And then you see, like, that face, like, pass, like... <laughs> uh, 
because they're all your Snapdragons. They are all of my one, Snapdragons. And I'll be like, hey, take, take good care of them. <laughs> so you are taking two Snapdragons, some healer's kits, and ball bearings. That is what I've picked up. As well as 100 yards of brilliant red uh, silk twine. And 100 arrows. And, 100 and four arrows. healing potions. Yeah. Oh, arrows. and do we drop the 400 for the additional firebombs or no no the fire oh, no, that was the healing potion the that was healing, the healing potions potion. you did yeah i would like to cast a few spells into my ring okay and i'll let you know what they are i'm still mentally preparing what they are i'll just let you know what they are like okay. i'll send you a message in chat or something that's right um actually because if we talk about that what your ring the spells yeah, like i don't know what people would want more like i can put like a mass healing word and put cure wounds in them or I can put a mask cure wounds in it. I have ideas of what I should put in it, but I wanted to get y'all's consensus about it. I, for whatever it's worth, I just took mask cure wounds as a as a fifth can level when I leveled enough. up. Can never have enough. Okay. <laughs> well, you're right. I'll probably just like like pop my fifth level spells like just immediately and not have any mask cure wounds left. That's a good idea. Yeah. Mask cure wounds. Yeah. Into the ring. All right. I'll, that's what I guess yeah. is in the ring until you figure out otherwise. Did you guys buy the ring that talks to you too? I think he gave it to us. No, we didn't. No, you didn't. I haven't. Uh... You bought the ring of spell storing. So, the, so we got the, the Fey, we got the Barrelid Shield, Feywild Shard, a ring of spell storing, Mortar and Pestle. Yep. And the right. plus one bow. Cool. I I mean I am interested in this talking ring. We went over it last week, and you guys didn't buy it. So I'm going to say that you didn't Let's buy it. Let's go catch him and then throw okay. the throw some more <laughs> red dragon I want to have all the him. cursed rings on my fingers. Right. <laughs> I don't think this one's cursed, technically. Oh. <laughs> is it a ring of mind shielding or whatever? I, th I forget what it's called. I think it is. It's just there's a dude yelling at you. Yeah, it's just a dude <laughs> trapped in there. It's, it's whatever spirit's <laughs> hey, in there. Hey, listen to me. Really... Listen. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. The ring isn't it's self intelligent. It just has someone trapped inside it who's super bummed. You hold it up to your ear and you say, Here, hey, listen. And you right. immediately chuck it across. <laughs> but yeah, right. if the moment has passed, I, I mean. Yeah, I think we moved past that. Because okay. you had an option to buy it last week and didn't. Yeah. So. It wasn't Does... particularly attractive, no. Do we have like a. Uh... Sell it. Yeah, he did sell. It. Uh, do we have like, a, do we have like a lockable chest or treasure chest or something that we can load into one of the carts? Yeah, I mean, one sure. of those. Yeah, that's not hard to do. Yeah. Um, realistically, stuff. over the course of two weeks, you could probably have had Aaron kind of build one into the cart, so you ah. can't just like grab the chest and leave. You'd have to, like. Essentially yeah. uninstall it, I guess. Um, or take everything from us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, uh, so she, yeah, you have uh, you have a, a pretty pretty sturdy lockbox built into your bigger cart. Yeah. Kind of like the what's it called? The thing in truck beds, like the toolbox in truck beds. The toolbox in a truck bed? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought that was a word called. for it, but there we go. <laughs> toolbox in a truck bed. Fair enough. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, box. And then do we do we collectively own like a tent, like a cabin tent or something like that, that we can pitch up our, and sleep in? I think we have uh, in our in our starter years, like starting gear. We get that. Uh, yeah, so you tents. all have like a tent. Um, Might not have the deluxe tent that has like yeah. six different rooms that it's attach like that one middle piece. Tent, no, yeah. <laughs> we don't have this cool glam like no glamping in this party. <laughs> no glamping in this party. <laughs> this isn't like Sky Mall magazine right. where you get the cool stuff. I mean, alternatively, you guys do have like two carts one, and canvases that you could just like create something like some that. sort of yeah. tent contraption in the carts, you know. I'm just thinking if we are going to be in areas where we don't have get a lot of horses. shelter. 
We have. It two. worked really early on. No. Horses fend off wolves. Because we have. We I'm a, I have wolves. They will fend off the wolves from but us. But we have horses and let your wolves sleep. How many? How many? So you're taking two carts. You're taking each, each, presumably yeah, Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. Jeffrey's Jeff, coming. Jeffrey Marengo. Yeah. And then and who's then, pulling the other cart? The two yeah. more horses. Two the, horses you? or like or the, the intelligent oxen. ox or like. Oh, right. right. We should probably take the intelligent ox. Probably a good idea. But he just or, we two, or we take the two. Or we take the two regular ox. And make nope. the intelligent. And make the intelligent we'll take, ox no. sad again? No, we're gonna we're gonna take two horses, mm -hmm. and we're gonna leave the ox with his friends, and he'll keep Baron and Veruca entertained, occupied, oh, yeah. yeah, along with the other sheep that are you growing. say entertained. I, I'll I'll give you busy. You'll keep him. Bu they'll keep them. He'll keep them busy. Uh, two carts, four horses. Uh, four horses for the carts. Does. Baron or anybody else want a horse to ride? Maybe I don't know. Uh, there, he's gonna deal with the horses. There's extra horses, so yeah. you're only taking four with you. He's gonna deal with them. Uh, he'll try to get good prices for good homes, but ultimately, like having a horse to like get around on if needed is not a bad idea. So he's. So I was thinking, do we need a fifth horse for somebody to ride? Just in case we need five horses. Actually, no, we're small. We could fit two people on a horse and go. We'll probably fit three. We're in a wagon, horses. right? Yeah, I mean, the wagon also has like a bench seat. Yeah, that's there, true. So I'm going with a caravan. This is some like Oregon Trail shit we're going out. Right. Of course, that's what well, I'm working. I hope on. we don't need to ford any rivers because we're gonna get dysentery or something. We have a we have a shield that can float things. That is true. Just put it underneath one cart and let it. Load across the river. I don't know if that my shield has. I don't that think much. the shield has that much strength, but uh, it's only really one way to find out. Only one way. So we have gloves of thievery, gems, a gem of seeing. Uh, Morty's got the gauntlets. We've got, got all the these rope. We've got all this rope. Wait, do we give? Wait, hold on. Real party question here. Does the the rope that we have now go to Cooper? All of it. The no, he's talking here. about the the rope of wrangling. Oh, the, the rope. wrangle rope. Yeah, we can give it to Cooper. <laughs> Cooper's been. I mean, is that cool with everybody? I mean, <laughs> you are the rope master. What's a wrangle rope? Wait, oh. your magic rope? We definitely had We've this conversation. Used it. We absolutely We've used have it many times. Used it. Yeah. yeah, they've used it while you were around. Um, oh, 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 yes, yes, okay, yeah. And then I've got my tubes and my gun stocks mm. that I've got with me. And all my other various bits of interesting stuff. Correct. That uh, I've been collecting. Uh, I'm going to leave. Actually, Morty, do you want these undead pairs? I mean, I thought we would just leave them here, honestly. Okay, then I'll believe those here. Just so we can come back in the fall and scare the shit out of some kid. I mean, swords and, um, <laughs> you know, go from there. Because flying swords are the only thing that inhabit this town. That's why I want to get the hell out of it. <laughs> ah. All right, and then still got that, still got that. Okay, I think, is anybody else need anything else? Last call? Can you think of anything? Enough water. We'll fill up a barrel of water and bring it with us. I mean, or if, unless it's, unless Brian is like, I guess we have a ranger, so like, or not a ranger and a druid, so we can find water. I'd assume. Yeah, okay, water and food. You won't have an issue with water. And okay, food. then we don't need water then. Okay. Well, I said provisions, so some of the stuff I did yeah. say was provisions. Yeah. Um... Yeah, unless there's a narrative reason why it's hard to find water or food, it won't be an issue. You know what? I'm going to leave my longbow, my regular one, because I don't need that anymore. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to take it out of my pack in D&D &D Beyond. Okay. How do I do that? Just unequip it, and then we'll deal with it later. Yeah. 
Okay. Cool. Move. Bang, bang. Done. Okay. So I think that's it for me. Anybody else? Anything? Last call? Um, I think that's it. Oh, pittance. Stupid crap like that. Just those dumb things for climbing. I, and oh. I just so we have enough for everybody. I got them. Okay, you got them? I mean, okay. they're in my pack. That's bigger than me, but yeah. <laughs> Do we know, I guess, region-wise gear in terms of like if we go down to unter do i can i guess we could ask the dwarves like hey if we're headed that way is it colder like temperature wise so if you guys go north it's colder um <laughs> i said no because we're going down mountains so i didn't yeah. know mountains i mean uh colder. unter if you got into the like unter is not all the way up in the mountains it's kind of like in a valley near like kind of the piedmont area um so um, it gets a little bit chilly at the altitude, but not like mountainously chilly. If you go okay. further into the mountains, there'll be some issues with that, but, um, presumably there, it won't be difficult to find, you know, cold weather gear, even if you just kind of like makeshift it, right? You've got a ranger that can skin animals. Okay. I mean, that was a, I just want to make sure we're. Good yeah. to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just found, I just found out you can add like a whole adventurer's backpack in D and D Beyond instead oh, like of all the individual. Kit. Yeah. 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 Okay, you guys uh, head west along the road on your way to the tower. Uh, we're presumably you're gonna meet up with Kiv and uh, -huh. uh Clamor. 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 Um, as you start to head west, uh, you reminisce about the time that you've spent <laughs> here in Winds Hollow, and we're gonna take a quick break right now because uh, I have to use the bathroom. So um, we'll take a short break here. We'll be back in uh, like at 810 and then we will continue with this week's episode of In the Red. Wow! <laughs>
And we're back with uh, more of this week's episode of In the Red. Uh, our heroes have left the beginner introductory <laughs> town that they arrived at five levels ago. Fifty. It only took them fifty ago. episodes no, to get like past the introductory town, and they are headed to the tower. And we're still in the red. And you're still in the red. Um, Wait, did we take the bag with us? I assume so. Yeah. We'll we'll put garbage in it. It only transfers it precious metal. metals and stuff. It's just gonna get filled with garbage. We just oh, we only gotta send him like bronze. All right, no, like uh, copper coins just to piss him <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, we give him a hundred copper gold. coins, and it's like oh, it's one gold. Yeah, he didn't say how we had to pay it back, so we can basically just, like, Animal like Crossing toss. this, where we toss in, like, right. you know, uh, tree limbs that we find on the ground, and some apples. <laughs> this you, could something... give him, you could give him 1.1 1. 1 million copper pieces, yes. Yeah. That's uh, actually, might be bad, because that's a lot of metal yeah. to be giving. That's, like, that's like the equivalent of, like, what giving someone, like, it's like the copper wire in homes. It's just like, oh, yeah, we can just take that. It's like, no, 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 don't do that. That's a lot of, that's a lot of copper. Oh, we just took all the copper pipe out of the house. Oh, so the bathrooms don't work. All right. Great. Uh-oh. Anyway. We toss in cool rocks we find. Wait, well, so we, I we I legitimately didn't know this about D&D. Gold, or copper is worth nothing. Copper is worth one one hundredth of one gold piece. Wow. It's not so. Can, here's here's you here's can, the problem. You can tell that that standard was set up in nineteen seventy two or whatever. No, no, no. It was here's the problem. <laughs> you're you're approaching this from the frame of a hero, not from the frame of a peasant, right? Right. So like, average 100. unskilled labor is like five copper pieces a day. Yeah. Having gold at all is like a big deal in D and D. You just yeah, like I know. It's player just nowadays characters are always like, big deals. Like, like I, w- I went to go buy a pipe to put an antenna up a, a month or so ago, and like a ten foot length of copper pipe was like a hundred fifty dollars. And you can't convince me gold's worth more at this point. <laughs> oh, eh. Eh. sorry, oh, homeowner stuff. Let's play D and D. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Cooper. I have a question for you. What's up? Um, recently, Enix has been going under uh, undergoing a crisis of conscience. <laughs> what what core beliefs is Enix beginning to question? Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing this. Yes, it's time. Oh boy, this is good because it's been happening in real life too. Let's <laughs> let, bring it on. <laughs> what was the question again? So Enix has been undergoing a crisis of conscious conscience. Uh, what core beliefs are they beginning to question? Enix is a druid. Yes. Is that the statement? Enix. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, am I? Is that the belief he's I? questioning? <laughs> yeah, what just happened? <laughs> Uh, Enix is starting to wonder if people are really worth it. <gasps> people in eating, general eating animals, or the people around animals. you? People in general or specifically your group of people? People in general. Okay. Uh, Enix, what has caused such a decline in your opinion of the val- of the value of people? Well, as you know, in the last 10 years, we've had a uh, what could be considered a global pandemic and uh, everyone's reactions to them in the last couple of years have not been that great. So I've been wondering since all of the animals I've been around are they're 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 very pure. You know, they, they want to help. They're very um, pure, they're true to themselves. Pure dick birds. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, thinking of no. Even you know what? Even the dick birds, like they know what they are, and they know oh, how yeah. how they are to behave, and they do not know how to be duplicitous, or they don't know how to scam other uh, dick birds, even if they're trying to be dick birds to each other. So, um, 
yeah, I think that's. I've started. I've started to wonder if uh, living living a life uh, among my animal friends is worth it more than being around other, you know, more, I guess, sentient beings. A real a CC situation. Um, has your recent interaction with uh, the folks in Winds Hollow made an impact in that shift, or is this a shift that's been going on? for quite some time um you know the the interactions with uh with with ornath and how uh stubborn and self-serving and frustrating he was uh certainly didn't do it any favors and the fact that this entire time i was uh enix was unable to read what who what 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 the intentions of the carnies were um it turns out their intentions for the most part were good, but uh, it's it's all very, you know, there was just so much stuff going on and so many mixed intentions that it's just, it's really hard to not have their good intentions get mixed up with the bad intentions of all the, the folks we've been dealing with for the last few months. Well, few days, I guess, in, in universe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, uh, Dimitri, why is Cooper putting, uh, why is including Cooper in your party putting you all at risk? I have a suspicion that something from Cooper's past is going to be able to track us down, and that's what's putting us at risk by having cooper with us oh wow that's what's causing it right there for Uh-oh. this oh my goodness hold on i gotta figure out how to undo whatever i just did there's Wait, a lot of I... spooky stuff Sir... that just Ooh, happened i don't know what just happened because oh, right oh, out of you saw that <laughs> no. my 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 room in my or this thing this lamp went out i don't i think the rest of my apartment went out very briefly but I didn't lose power? Yeah. Um, at, at literally the same time, you can't see because I'm in the mountains right now, but my mountains turned off. Yeah, everything was like went dark for a second. For like a split second. I don't oh. know if you experienced that, Dimitri, but that would be Wait. even spookier if you didn't experience it, but me, oh. and, me and Morty did. Like we, oh. I feel like we both made eye contact. It was like... <laughs> we did! We like telepathically went <laughs> like, there. It was like dark, dark, and I was like, we looked. We literally looked at each other through the cameras. Go. That just happened. <laughs> yeah. Also, so. Jake, you have that like portal of darkness behind you. It would be so scary if like the lights went out and you just saw like eyes. No. Like, yeah. No. 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 I need I'm putting, you guys. I'm banning that. No. Nope. I need you guys. If that happens, just call the police. <laughs> call the police. <laughs> I'm gonna fight something, or it's gonna let it let it happen. If it's, if you see that you guys like, you're like I know. Jake doesn't. <laughs> J- Jake doesn't have friends who aren't in this Zoom call right now. So if someone oh. else is in his apartment, they're not wow. supposed to be there. Man, uh, that's kind of. But yes, I would. Uh, outside of the spooky. Actually, um, I probably should move my camera frame just to the side, so, <laughs> so you guys can't see the meshing of my hair. Like, where he's not, like, right here, and it's just, like, do, 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 and I'm, like, oh, no! Like, yeah, like, I, I need to probably move that. <laughs> but I, w- I would say um, from uh, Cooper's past, like, the connections to, was it the Glass Shores, where Cooper's from? Or where Cooper adventured from? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, where he's been, yeah. Yeah, I would say something from the Glass Shores is what's going to be in a danger oh, to the he- party. Did Cooper cross something in the glass shores? On the glass shores? Did he did he run afoul of something powerful there? I don't know. Uh, Cooper, uh, did you run afoul of something powerful on the glass shores? Is that what is that what Dimitri is telling me right now? I mean, I don't know if Cooper would like No, but like, you know, the the dating scene is 
pretty hot in the glass shores and like uh, there's a beach community i don't love her i got exes you know <laughs> okay man it's exes in texas what's the equivalent in the glass shores yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh so cooper's ex beaches and beaches Paramours rough. <laughs> are uh, coming at him hot. Got it. <laughs> All right. Oh, That's going to be interesting. It's going to be like a witch's coven that just. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got enough credit for my bitches on beaches joke. <laughs> uh, well done. Thank mm-hmm. you. Uh, Morty. Hello. Dimitri seems particularly interested in leaving Winds Hollow. <laughs> Why are they so desperate to leave? Because <laughs> he's sick and tired of our BS. I, there's like a there's like a three part answer here. I feel like okay. there's like it's like guns. Figure out the guns. Tired of being here, and um. To become the true alpha of the pack of his wolves. Annex, you're gonna have to teach me how to wild shape. It's really easy. You just um, you go over. You go <laughs> Ooh, over this red... like his bones start melting. <laughs> you just gotta do this. <laughs> you just go over to the website and you click um, use spell, and then you wild shape into a dick bird. <laughs> <laughs> You just click the box. That's all. You just click a, it. It did the box. I didn't. It was really easy, actually. Uh, Dimitri, what's keeping you from being the true alpha of your wolves? Being the true alpha of my wolves. Well, I, I I'm currently walking on two legs, and I guess it's. Um, that seems like a I, choice. If I'm on it, I know it's it's. <laughs> I, I I guess it's my. Um, Throw. What's keeping me from being the alpha is my reluctance to charge headfirst into battle. Ah, ah! Gladiator pit. Gladiator <laughs> pit. <laughs> so you're suggesting then that until you uh, are willing to charge into battle and lead your pack, uh, your wolves will never truly respect you. I hope they respect me because then I, like, I feed them. All right, respect you as their alpha. Anyway. Okay, yeah, right. respect me as their alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say. And then, uh, what is your like ultimate plan with these guns? Where, where, where are you going what? with these tubes and wooden <laughs> barrel stocks? What, what's a gun? I, yeah, what that's what I'm asking. Thing? You. Oh, what's what's the idea? Mm-hmm. Y- use it once and not kill myself or my party. <laughs> Uh, have have just like mob clear for one one action and be excited about it with all this money i've spent aims to use a gun one time got it uh <laughs> no, no no it's the the idea is like the idea behind the gun or the invention of this mm-hmm. gun since close quarter combat is difficult for me right now yes mm-hmm. i have two swords but if i have a gun and it's got a cone of attack and shoots a lot Oh, so you're people. looking at like moving from shotgun. riflery to shotguns. Interesting. It's a it's it's I'm working on a blunderbuss is what I'm working mm. on. So. so that's that's why you need ten thousand ball bearings is to make uh one round. <laughs> one round. <laughs> one shot. I only imagine the cartoon just, where like the gun. No, no, goes no. Off. The entire gun is just, the entire barrel is full of BBs, <laughs> right? It's just full all the way to the end of the gun, and just you shoot it, and it's not possible for there to be enough gunpowder or whatever in this thing. So the, the they all just kind of go like, <laughs> like out the end of the barrel. You, you you do remember I do have crystallized mushroom <laughs> resin and all these other things yeah, that I've been collecting. A lot of- dangerous yeah. chemicals it's true that's true i actually I forgot bomb. about the whole gun thing because yeah. it's you haven't i like the idea right. that like it's like the cork gun on like in the cartoons when it goes off and the gun like <laughs> yeah. like goes like, <laughs> like just like i don't even know what the name of it is it's just like does that weird mushrooming and then it's just like strands of gun right 
But no, the the idea is just to have like a quick, you know, crowd clear to push things back in a bad situation. A okay. sweeper shotgun. Because since since there is no guns in this scenario, mm-hmm. and that means there's no ammo, there's no gunpowder. I mean, there's like or, explosive powder. There's explosive powder, yeah, but not like mining and stuff. But cool. But having having like a controlled thing, just mm-hmm. but it's the idea. It's a, a rare use type thing. That's why. Sure. experiment with it until so i don't kill myself cool um it's a downtime activity i'm for it <laughs> uh hey spit yeah what, what new hobby did morty pick up in winds hollow um uh so morty um kind of in, in in order to try to get over his fear of social situations mm-hmm. has joined like a toastmasters group um he like practices making speeches and debates um and has had been particularly fueled by his frustrations with mayor ornap so he's hoping to be able to get a little bit more of the gift of gab um yeah <laughs> I can't believe the words Toastmaster is in my notes now. <laughs> yeah! I don't know, is more frustrating than anything else thus far. I could have had you join a Rotary Club! <laughs> and they're done that. I gotta be honest, I, I'm, I'm seeing a distinction without a difference between those two organizations. Honestly. <laughs> um, and Annex. Uh... What about Spit have you developed a respectful jealousy of? Oh. I, um, I'm honestly jealous of his ability to, maybe this is a little obvious, but uh, his ability to, to just go invisible all the time. Um, you know, it, I, uh, there have been many uh, social situations, many of which have led me to uh, feel the way that I do about being around other people. Where he's able to just go like, and he's able to 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 be aware of and participate in the situation, and then also remove himself without having to like, you don't have to do the, uh, uh, what's it called when you when you like when you want to leave a party like that, but you don't want to have to go around and say bye to Irish. everybody there. Irish, Irish goodbye. goodbye. Is it an Irish goodbye? Okay. Uh, his ability to just like, he just does it. And he does it in full view of everybody. So everyone watches his body just go like, and everyone goes, oh, all right. There's I'll something, later. there's something especially uh, clear about not like just walking away from a, a conversation, but being so done with it that you just decide to become invisible. You like yes. waste mechanical resources to stop having a conversation. Yeah, like it. It, it takes At emotion. The expen- at like the expense they're... of being transparent, I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> yeah. a necessary. Well, you know, there, it takes, uh... there, there's a there's an emotional price that you have to pay to literally leave a party. Yeah, it and makes his get... intentions really clear. Yes, exactly. Oh, God. The puns. I can't with it's, the puns. We're just going to see right through all no, these jokes, you no, know, guys. No, I'm going to take this microphone and throw it at the wall, and you're going to have to listen to this to the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty clear that Will is fed enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's he covers his equipment. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Spit, how, how do you feel about. Uh, have you picked up on his jealousy? Are you are you detecting that, or is this st- are you still oblivious? Is it still is 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 his emotional status toward your av- ability to become invisible still very opaque to you? I I would say that it's opaque to to, to me. I mean, sure. just bit. I mean, a lot of things are opaque to me, um, a... which is why I compensate by becoming completely trans- transparent. <laughs> um, There's so... a very obvious eye roll when I when I like I look over <laughs> and I see I see spit kind of. You know, doing one of these numbers over in the corner, and then I look back at whoever we're talking to, and I look back, and I can see, and I'm like, I just, I just see the tips of your ears just vanishing. I'm like, oh, 
he did the he did the vanishing thing again. Okay. Yeah. Completely oblivious. I mean, I do it. Um, I, I mean, I do it sometimes out of fear, sometimes out of um, out of social strategy and such. I know that just abruptly leaving isn't always the best course of action, but it sure as heck gets me out, out of a lot of things. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, cool. Um, Cooper, uh, why do some members, did, I guess, some members of Winds Hollow flock to Morty? Morty secretly uh, keeps a pocket full of like old man candy and gives it to children. What children? Uh, there, are no there, children are there are no children. In children. Oh. Dude, I like the idea though that I still have <laughs> old man candy just in, case. in my pocket. Just in case. A pocket just of, in of, case. Of, what are they, Here's old, the deal. Old, old Werther's? Werther's Originals. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Hey, yes. talk shit about Werther's Originals. I'm like, wait, wait, wait yeah. I just aged myself. No, no. It's a good deal. When, it, when it green lozenges, right. uh, the oh, spicy cinnamon the one. one, and that gooey strawberry that's always I was about to say the strawberry yeah, 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 wrap. You let it, yes. Yes. Girls. Uh, well, here's the deal. Is Sure, there are no children in Wind's Hollow, but this isn't something that started in Wind's Hollow. Yeah. The but legend preceded him. <laughs> everybody in Wind's Hollow just, like, got, you know, like, if you got a Werther's in your pocket, every now and then you're going to pop one in. Even if you're saving it for the kids, you got to, every now and then get one for you. And so, definitely, like, sitting around uh, Jeffries and whatnot, people have been like, what you got in, in your pockets there and that's so like every now and then people go up and basically like everybody knows that morty has gum essentially i don't want to be a gum guy i'd be the old i want the hard candy dude yeah I don't you're the hard candy yeah. guy root beer barrels and whatnot yeah yeah uh, everybody knows uh morty's got root beer barrels in his desk morty where do Hello. you find this candy does it just like is it like conjured in your pockets? Like how? <laughs> the questions of the universe answered. <laughs> so good. It's, it's, it's a it's a version of Goodberry, but it's just good candy. That's all it is. Ooh. Well, candy anyway. I think it's just honestly the world will of the war of Bell just telling me <laughs> to be a good person as I put my hand in my pocket. To be upset, to do like the walk away, hands in pocket, and I'm like, oh wait, I got some candy, and it's just there, and it's always been there. It's just I don't know how long it's been there. It's just you know I'm like ah, it's time for candy, whoop, and it's just like right in the mouth, and and some people are like, hey, and then I just have always been uh, willing to give candy whenever I haven't had a shortage of it. I guess is what I'm saying, but I never feel inundated okay. with candy too. All right. You are just you're you're blessed by the realms by the it's, it's by from, the uh, sentience of the land. They it, it gifts you with Salka. hard candy. It's Rasalka. Yeah, it's who it really is. Ew, Rasalka's wet candy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I like that. I <laughs> Um, That's what the name of it is. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Um, well, people like it, I guess. Uh, Morty. Hello. Uh, what rumor has started in One's Hollow related to Dimitri? Um... He's oddly flexible, but when no one's looking. So everyone, of course, is trying to find out. Right. Dimitri, are you 
w- there's a distinction like, to make here. Physically, are you or do you hide your flexibility when people watch, or do you phys- are you physically not as flexible when you're being looked at? Right. Is this like a waves versus particles situation? Um, I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with what just happened. Uh, I just don't. Sure. What is this? Mm. So, uh, so when when people aren't looking, they're just. It's just so much easier to be more flexible. And I, I want to clarify. I meant to say it's like yoga kind of flexible. I'm not trying to be weird oh. here. Mm-hmm. Like that's the kind of flexible I was talking about. Nothing like weird in in like i probably should have clarified but i didn't yoga is not a thing here yet yeah like That's like dimitri can so do a split yeah. yeah 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 no um it's just it's it, when people are watching it's just hard hard to perform sometimes so yeah. it's it's like a self it's like a like a a personal affect issue rather than like the universe grants you the gift of flexibility as long as no one's watching like it's it's a, it's a self esteem issue. Like you can't bring it's, yourself yeah. to it. It's okay. it's like from Mystery Ben when the guy that can go invisible only whenever nobody's watching. Right. No. Facts. It's not that. It's not that. Yeah. No. It's 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 like a it's a self conscious thing. I think is what it is. Yeah. Which I think checks out with your whole rush into battle thing. Yes. Excellent. Which is why I'm always in the back fighting shooting arrows from being flexible when no one's watching he's like practicing the trick shot like angle yeah. <laughs> behind the back Ooh. no it's it's i'm holding the bow with my toe uh, and that's why it's so we, we wouldn't know we don't watch you when you're, yeah you don't you're watch your you, know, you, you, wouldn't don't know. Know. you wouldn't know he's out of sight you can't see him he's too far away when he shoots his bow <laughs> um dimitri Cooper has been gone restless, uh, sleeping restlessly, muttering and tossing and turning while he sleeps. Uh, when they talk in their sleep, what have you uh, heard them talking about? Um, the, I've been hearing Cooper mutter about being the undisputed champion of the world. <sighs> with uh this new belt of the he... world or northern vol the the belt only designates northern vol of, of the world of, of the world and don't tell is... cooper it's just northern vol it's <laughs> cooper cooper thinks it's the world and i feel it's, like it's, it's it's something that i hear them uh, tossing and turning about but they always seem to get those restful night sleeps every time they're and they hold like they make the motion above their head with the belt sometimes so uh cooper how do you plan on proving this to the world that you're the undisputed champion i i think cooper didn't realize that it was only for ball <laughs> so it's not like it's written on the belt or anything you know? i mean it's clearly written on the belt <laughs> yeah it says like, like it says like in like emblazoned letters northern vol champion undisputed northern vol champion but yeah undisputed yeah. champion right okay of the world i don't like i don't get the uh confusion yeah it's just what it is So I'm just confused that people seem to think that I'm only the champion of Northern Ball. Perfect. Yeah. I don't think Cooper's ever read the belt. That's fair. (laughs) Yeah. Well, to be clear, Northern Ball is probably the two largest words on this belt. (laughs) Like across the middle and like 200 point font well You're fonts haven't been invented yet but so it, also that's true to read it, yeah, it would down, be tough to like yeah. yeah it does it does designate you as like the champion of the most pertinent parts of it's like vol bell rainwall and uh cutter fault like 
What else is it's there? everything uh, east of uh, the Division Mountains. So it's like half the continent. Um, I know I said east, and this is Northern Vol. It's because of the way that the continent is skewed uh, oh. diagonally, and yeah. so east of the mountain range is considered like the northern territories insofar as they are like the mo or were the most powerful territories versus like the south of Val, which is technically like the western side which oh. refers to like the westlands and the and the the wastelands out in the the desert out there so to to clarify anyway um Cooper, how has Enix surprised you in your time in Wintalo? <clears throat> Enix has uh, surprised me because Enix is really good at impressions. Oh no. That's Kim's impression. <laughs> my my like favorite really my good. favorite response to any of these questions is Enix saying, "Oh no." <laughs> well, let's let's be clear here. Do you think do you do you just think that I'm good at impressions or am I actually good at them? Like, I are, mean, they good, are they good? Are they good to really you? Good. No, no, no. That's that's so, like, that's that's how you and that, you, that's my question to you, Enix. Is are you actually good I, at impressions, or is Cooper an idiot? Uh, well, right. That's where I was kind of going with it because I was thinking, you know, with um, oh jeez, I don't remember the character that had Chris. I think it was Torg had Christopher mm -hmm. Walken's voice, and my Torg impression would just be like. Hey guys, because that's the best that I don't know that I'm. I know that I'm bad at it, but like Cooper's eating it up, so I just keep doing it. Sounds <laughs> just like him. <laughs> it's like, hey guys, is really like Ornath, Duval, and Duval. Um, just everybody in town has the same voice. <laughs> but I proceed it by saying, hey guys, I'm Duval. Look at me, and Cooper's just like, ah, spot on, <laughs> shit, classic. <laughs> All right, cool. And then uh, Enix Spit has been prone to wandering off into the countryside near Winds Hollow. After secretly following him, what surprisingly wholesome activity has he been participating in? Um, he's been trying to um. I kind of, you know, the scene at the end of Gladiator where he's walking along, just like running his hands across the top of the wheat. Isn't that the beginning of Gladiator? Oh, it's the beginning and the end. It's it's, yeah, it's, it's a it's weird death he, scene. Yeah, I feel like that's what he's doing. But to all of the like all of the, the the flowers and wildlife and and like foliage that exists out there, like since he's, you know he's he's as tall as all of it so he's kind of like reaching up above his heads to feel the top of it but he just he just you know he just really likes um he he makes a special effort but he doesn't want us to know about it for some reason or another he just really likes communing with with plants specifically so he's been petting the flora excellent mm -hmm. uh spit why are you so excited about uh Petting the flora, having this. I like how it feels on my talent. relationship. Okay. Yeah, it just feels really nice. Um, there, <laughs> it may. It, I get in the zone, um, with it, so it probably looks like I'm communing with it, cause like, I'm like, my eyes are lidded as I'm just going through and kind of letting the feeling wash over me. Mm -hmm. But Morty's the plant guy. I just like how it feels on my hands. Well, I mean, I get it. Oh, but it, you can totally believe that I'm communing with plants. Please. Yeah, go. no, I get it because, well, I thought I got it. Ooh, <laughs> because, and like, and that time that you followed me, I turned invisible. 
course you did. Of course you did. And I thought I was having trouble Good keeping day. track of you. I thought I was just doing it. I thought it was just because you like blend because you went into like some tall wheat, right? Oh, and but just you're only hands up yeah, on top. You're, you're only like two and a half feet tall, and then it's true. Just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like I would I would get it. Like I commune with with you know I I literally speak with animals. I'm like yeah. oh oh spit found a spit speaks with plants. I didn't know that was a thing, but okay. But I mean I I think that honestly checks out and that 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 you that you feel that way about me. Um, but but in my mind I just go ooh that feels nice. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, you guys start to make your way. Uh... <laughs> west along the northern road out of bell toward the uh old watchtower uh where there is a hopefully not decaying dragon carcass uh but i guess you'll decide upon the state of that uh when you get there um it takes uh, about three days um you have been um the the road to the tower is is beginning to be pretty well uh traveled and so it's not as uh it doesn't take as long frankly to get to the tower from winds hollow uh it takes about three days to get there um you find a couple of places to camp along the way um it looks like uh, the folks that have been like working on the road and also like traveling back and forth to the tower, it, it appears as if they have set up like makeshift campsites pretty much a day's travel progressively, right? So there's like clear places to like camp um, at the end of the first and second day. And then at the end of the third day, you manage to get to the tower where there is. Um, there are some outbuildings and other things. There's like a small, very small town starting to develop kind of around the tower just because it's um, a relatively defensible area. Uh, and uh, folks, I mean, mo particularly among your civil servant corps, who were all bandits in league with the person controlling this tower, are familiar with the tower. So it's become something that they can kind of uh, resort to. Um, you get to the tower. What do you guys, what's the plan, Dimitri? What's the goal while you're at the tower? What's going on? Well, now that you've told me that people are starting to develop around the tower, I don't want to do my plan. I, I don't know I was what the plan I, was. I was going to destroy the tower because there's a giant piece of, like, encharged, like, Blackstone oh, or whatever it is, light. the shadow, the shadow imbued rock mm -hmm. in the tower, that's still up there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it seems to be kind of contained, um, but yeah, yeah. There's a big piece of of shadow fuel, I guess, for lack of a better word. Are we able to banish that? Like Morty, can you banish that? Um, can I banish that? It has been brought to your attention uh, several times that the way to get rid of that is to uh, get rid of the draconic presence right. oh, okay. that tainted the realm. That's like uh, so when dragons dragons have layer of layer impacts where like the areas around them become more in um, more similar to their type. Okay. And that is an that is an effect of the dragon still having, um, so, like a kind of dominance over the area, because you all have elected to uh, keep his body from decaying. So if he if he disappears, that will start to disappear. Then if if his body time. decayed naturally after you killed him, uh, it would have taken like maybe two or three weeks for that to undo and also like the heat around this tower to go back to like natural terrain levels and kind of the gloom in the region to kind of lift a bit yeah. um, yep. you intentionally avoided that because it would be kind of a clear message 
to whoever this dragon's superior was that this dragon is no longer on the board. Yep. Don't care anymore. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, let's 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 at least go to the tower and say hi to Kiv and mm -hmm. see how Glamour and Kiv are doing and what the state sure. of this dragon thing is Absolutely. and get like an update on the area. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys head up and uh, Kiv uh, is there with Clamor on his shoulder and he says, uh, hey guys, uh, how's it going? Uh, it's great to see you. Hey, hey, Kiv. Uh, it's 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 been an adventure. We kind of opened up some shadow, you know, realm ish things over in Winds Hollow and found some bad stuff, put it back in its place. But yeah, so how's things going here? Oh, was that that terrible gloomy light that happened over the city a couple of days ago? I saw that. It's a good thing you took care of that. That seems like the better better choice in the matter, frankly. Yeah, yeah, you know. It, Better than better out or been better in than out, I say. I don't know. Let's go with it. That seems fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says all the time nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> um, Clamor, we found Cash. We knew that you were worried about them, and Cash was okay. He told uh, us where Bruce was. Ah, uh, yes, that's great. I'm glad to hear. That was a you very feel a dramatic answer from Clamor. <laughs> That feels like a fairly neutral response. Is everything okay? No, I'm very pleased. I, oh, okay. uh, I, this is how I express content. Um, uh, when there's not stress, I don't feel the need to be ridiculous. And I'm very oh. pleased to hear that uh, my dear friend is safe and that my friend's friend is also safe. Insight check. Sure. 15. Yeah, seems straightforward. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm I'm glad to hear you're not stressed. Um, I not am to too blessed to be stressed. I like that. It's, like a bad, like it's better than alive. your thing, Dimitri. Better in than out. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, so Dimitri wanted to ask you guys for a favor. How much money do you guys still have? Yeah. Uh, we've got like three or four hundred gold. And Kiv says, okay. uh, oh, we got uh, 367 gold, 27 silver pieces, and 14 copper pieces. I did, uh, I got the books right here. Uh, if you want to see them, uh, I guess, uh, take a look. Uh, how, how are those, how are those bandits going? Are they starting to build up around here? It looks like a town starting to form. Uh, I mean, like, uh, I, I mean, they are. They're not really bandits anymore. I mean, they're reformed. Okay. Uh, you know, they, uh, they've they taken up road building and fence building and stuff that you literally paid them to start doing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they seem like fine folks now. I mean, I think they were just bandits because there wasn't a lot of options. But now there's some employment opportunities and... Uh, you know, it seems like crime's down now that unemployment's down, you know? Like, uh, when people get opportunities, there's less stress. Oh, so, uh, how's this dragon thing doing over here? Uh, as you can see, it's still a pile of dragon. We've been, uh, gently reposing it every day, uh, every seven days, so that, uh, you know, we, we don't, we don't, uh, uh, spill the beans as it were about uh how much he's dead but uh he's dead so uh that's great does anybody has anybody noticed like him being dead not really nobody said anything nobody's cared i mean nobody said anything to me the the, the folks around here seem pretty pleased that there's not like a mean big bandit guy in charge telling him to go steal stuff um okay. and so uh yeah i think uh i think it works out okay uh, what can we get from like taking it apart? Is there anything useful in it? Probably. I don't take know. it apart. I'm not an alchemist. You want to, but you want to take it. But we, the whole plan was to not let it. We're just go, ignoring the plan now. Yeah, there's there's bigger things afoot right now. There's, there's yeah, and they'll come if we okay. That's fine. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, you know I don't want to second guess your decision making skills here. Uh, you were you were uh, pretty uh, 
instrumental in uh, eliminating the, the threat of this dragon in the first place. So if you think it's a good idea to go ahead and uh, eliminate this dragon, I, I'm not I'm not here to say boo about it. Well, <laughs> the bandits around are happy that he's not bossing them around. You can keep on bossing them around however you please. Sure, that's great. Uh, so you want to start carving into this shadow tainted red dragon not really uh oh you I, want someone else to start carving into this either dragon. someone else or just <laughs> just get rid of it is the I, is the idea i feel like i would be doing everything in my power to physically put myself between whoever wants to cut into yet another dead thing <laughs> and them okay. this, this looks barely this dead. isn't this isn't me yeah. at right now. Yeah, I'm no, not this talking is not about me. This is for I'm me. not talking about me. I'm talking about alchemical mm -hmm. and like dragon skills and sellables. Oh, oh, well, things. that's different. I'm not going to eat that's it. Cool. You're like, yeah, oh, that's no. fine. And it's like, uh, I don't want to eat it. These no, are just... indeed shadow touched everything. Yeah, it's shadow touched everything. Think of the so. spice on this thing. Also, is so. the, is, was the, the voice, was this Kiv? Uh, Did yeah, I, that's that's, I, Kim song. that's such is, a good impression, Ed. Is, is my is my one impression accidentally Kiv? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta retarget where that episode was, where I just whipped the voice out and was immediately embarrassed. Uh, but yeah, no, since it's on YouTube, since, since yeah. we're already because the the bad dude like his bosses are further to the west and that's our direction that we're going so if we're already starting to build up the area removing more shadow touched now that we know more about the shadow touched and all this other stuff we know the more, faster we can get rid of it the better so keeping it around is not is not a positive thing anymore okay um kev you mentioned that i think i heard you mutter that thing things will come um if we were to get rid of it like you seemed pretty stressed are you aware of new information i mean no but like presumably the people we send money to know that think that the dragon's still alive and that's why it's taking our money and not like you know investigating why things aren't going the way that they think it should because as far as it knows everything's going fine but uh, if we eliminate uh, the presence of the dragon here uh, it'll like undo all the bad stuff that's happened to the land, which is like good, but also kind of like a real easy tell that the dragon's dead and that uh, bad stuff uh, will know that uh, there's not bad stuff here. So I don't know. It's like a uh, risk, I guess. Yeah. Well, you're going to um... run out of you're run out of money anyway, unless you're making money. I mean, a little bit here and there, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm all for whatever you decide is uh, what I agree with. Um, I mean, you're you're pretty darn powerful as well, and Clamor can do quite a bit of stuff, and we know we could rely on you to hold down the fort. Mayor Ornath uh, let us know that we had also knocked out some generals of the Shadowfell and seemed pretty stressed that that too was kind of a beacon so why not just let the whole thing topple over right like oh that sounds times. great if if the bad stuff already knows why are we keeping secrets that seems fine do you have an address of where the money is being sent to you uh yeah it's being sent there's a an old uh orchard uh slash uh metery to the southeast of where the city of bell used to be and i send agents to drop off money to someone else who uh, is an agent for someone else who takes the money back to the other person and they kind of meet up and then they make the exchange and then that's how it works makes sense this orchard do you know anything about it? Like, was it a pear orchard by any chance? Uh, no, it's like uh, like an apple orchard. It's like oh, okay, uh, cool. apple and mead. I don't know. There's lots of honeybees. I've not been there, but the folks that go say there's like bees and whatnot. 
And they're all like, bees suck, they sting you. But I'm all like, some bees don't suck. And they're like, no, these bees suck. And I'm like, you're just being uh, uh, ex- extreme. A um, buzzkill? Yeah, you're just being a, a buzzkill. You're, yeah, yeah. And they're all like, no, if you were there, you'd know. And I'm like, no, 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 you're just, you just hate bees. Bees are great. They pollinate stuff. And they're all like, what's worth being pollinated in this territory? And I'm all like, everything, everything deserves to be pollinated, even if it's a little bit tainted. Because what happens when the taint goes away? And then the stuff that wasn't pollinated isn't there anymore. So it's got to get pollinated. And they're like, "Uh, okay, you're the boss. I'm the boss. Because you're the boss. You are the boss. So, do you think with the uh, the money that you've got there in the coffers, would you start to be able to raise like a little bit of an army and like outfit some folks to defend the area? I mean, we've got like uh, thirty former bandits here who made a living off of banditry, so they have like gear and whatnot. I don't know what would come, so I don't know how well we'd fare, but. Um... Where I'd rather go fight with these thirty folks than thirty folks that weren't skilled with weapons enough to steal from caravans. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's stop with the thing because you know get the area being nicer and you know just send them our way. You know because we're going to be heading west. We'll go check out this place uh, south. You said southeast of Bell. Uh, yeah, I think, um, I, uh, let me mark it on your map, and she, he, uh, marks, there's three, like, fields yes, in I adjacent think. hexes, that is the location that they... That's the location, cool. Oh, okay. So that's, that's where this exchange of oh. commerce takes place. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, then. Um... Do you need anything from us? Do you need more money? Do you need uh, fireballs? No, if we're not, if we're going to stop the ruse, we're all set with money. I mean, if you're going to go ahead and if we're moving to the next step of the plan. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to keep paying off the first step of the plan. It's fine. Yeah. Next step of the plan, defend the, defend Winds Hollow. I mean, defend the area. Uh, yeah, I've got like agents. Places. You got agents. You got places. Yeah. So, do you have any other information that you can put on our map, such as where Eustace Clodbottom might be, or I, anything of that nature? Uh, I mean, you know, we all know where Eustace Clodbottom's uh, temple is. Uh, we were there. Oh yeah, in Salem's Folly. Uh, uh, it's like south. Of, it's uh, it's like past. It. it uh, I'll update your map for next week. Um, yeah. For two weeks from now. Um, yeah, so we know where Eustace is, that jerk, that foul ne'er do well, doing ne'er welly. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. The other oh. thing, too, is Mayor Ornath let us know that he's like the left hand and we need to. That's good. You slipped into Cobalt there for a little bit. I, I don't understand it. What, what'd you say? Oh. I, I <laughs> we, Mayor Ornat told us that Eustace Clodbottom is like the left hand man of the shadows, and that's really bad news. Oh, that sucks. Um, it does. Gosh, I wish we didn't cross him so badly. <laughs> How's paying him back going? How have we? You guys came up with enough gold to get that squared away, or no? Nah, we decided to not yes. pay him back. I mean, yes. And yags. Oh, wait, you did come up with enough gold and you paid him back? Or you didn't come up with enough gold and so you didn't pay him back? Yes. Annex? Also, hi, I'm Annex. I've never met you. <laughs> oh my oh. goodness! Hey, everyone! This is yeah. our friend, Kim! I was figuring that you would introduce uh, me to both your new friends, but I don't... But you didn't, so... Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I just um, took it upon myself to just be be real with you, person I've never met and don't know your name. But yeah, uh, they had the money. Up, so. They had the money, so they paid off Eustace then. Yeah? No. Up- Wait. Upgraded the town. 
So they had the money and they ignored the debt that we owe. Yes, that is so after... substantial that it could be the name of a show, for instance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but but what if that show were to be taken out of syndication? I mean, you wouldn't want that to happen either. But I just, yeah, I I am the person that this definitely weighs heaviest on, and I think now that we know that Eustace for sure is a ne'er do well, we don't want to fund somebody who is making bad things happen to this land, like. For instance, the cost of those statues was a st sunk cost, or maybe even a broken cost. But giving him a fresh infusion of over eleven thousand gold, and not and, and not just statues, but now usable assets, seems a little ridiculous considering everything that's going on. You know what? That checks out. That makes I I think that's probably true. We should uh, we should reconsider paying off this debt. And uh, come up with alternative means to get out from under the unless financial have... woes of Eustace Clodbottom. That well, uh, um, makes a lot of sense. you have like 500 copper pieces, we can immediately make a deposit right now. Why would I keep 500 copper pieces on me? That Who, seems crazy. You know, it seems crazy, but you know what? It's, it, it's adding to the fact that it seems like a lot. And we could just slingshot them into just the bag. Just slingshotting them through the bag. I'm, I'm just seeing like velocity. I'm seeing copper pieces like fling out of the bag on the ping, other side. Ping, ping. Like, yeah. He's like, oh my <laughs> god! Like, yeah. What? Things are break. He's got like bases set up in his oh, room. Oh no, more things thing. break. Yeah, it's like break. gold. No. Um. He's a uh, kid. Says, "No, nah, no, I, uh, I don't have, uh, I don't have that much copper. I don't. No, I don't have it." Well, we could take that copper and fling it into the bag at high oh, speeds. No, no. I don't. I don't no. have any copper. We don't. We don't have fourteen. Copper. I thought he said he had like fourteen. Oh copper. yeah, we have fourteen copper. <laughs> Kim is just trying to squash a really bad idea, <laughs> as Kim did. <laughs> as Kim did a lot. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we won't do that. Then you can keep the copper to pay people off. Right. Hey, so, so uh, we kept collecting this stuff, like you said. There's like four crates of uh, dragon scales <laughs> and like seven gallons of spit. Um, not that's my name. Not spit, but like spit. Drag the dragon. Oh, what do you want to uh, do with that? Sell it. Okay, I'll figure out that and that's fine the um the roads back there are pretty good now so you might get traveling merchants who might be interested in this stuff there was one guy that really really wanted this stuff too um oh, and i and got got us some really cool things um so there might be merchants who might be interested in it and there might be more activity now that we had helped make some of the roads better and on on this side the bandits not being so bandity this time uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep an eye out for merchants. That seems great. And I'll sell what, it to them. Cool. What would what would we do with dragon? Because they were making like fire cells. Fire cells that with the spit, like the fire cells, and then um, like that's one of the ingredients in the fire bombs. Thick water. They, yeah, water. they had thick water and then red dragon scale dust or something like that. Yeah, so the dust was like used for the the red dragon scale dust and the thick water was used for the fire bombs. The red dragon scales themselves can be used for like um, fire resistant armors and that kind of stuff. And then there's some like alchemical components that can be used in the crafting of a weapon. Uh, to give it like a fiery property, like uh, a melee weapon can become like a fiery melee weapon. But how many scales do we need to make Morty some fire scale armor thing? Uh, I mean, you need quite a few. You have enough. The question is like, who's gonna make, make, it, make right? it? Like, you don't have uh, anybody who's talented yeah. enough to really do it. Uh, Morty, I have a question for you. Hello, we might get an answer. You collected some armor from a mud pit 
Did you leave that in uh, Wind's Hollow, or is that with you? Well, the nature of the armor was that of an old sergeant, correct? Or it something was, like along those lines. It was like aggress. It was like a, a gr- it was like plate, and it was military in in nature. But, but it was, I couldn't fit it. The motif it, right? was pretty um, dour. No, you could fit it. You just opted not to wear it yet. I don't know if that's. I think that conversation I didn't go to have with the group, but I I I cannot wear it. I cannot wear plate armor, but there's other people in our party that can, mm-hmm. and I that person I look at is immediately Cooper. Cooper is notably too large. Too large. For yeah. Armor, yeah. I I thought you were going to get it trimmed down for you. Oh, well see, I, I guess um, it wasn't the other issue that I could that we didn't have somebody that was skilled enough to correct. do that as well. Right. So my question is like, are you still carrying that with you, or did you leave it in Wind's Hollow? I, I think I probably would have taken it. Like okay. if we, if if space concerning, because if we're not gonna, if we, or if I was like looking at the rest of the stuff we're taking, I'd be like, well, it looks like we're kind of packing up. Mm. But like, I probably would have thrown that in there and not left it in the cellar to be like found by some random person again. Right. Okay. Um. And, uh, yeah, and I guess is that in? Is someone looking at it? No, no. I'm just curious. Um, I would notably have probably covered it, sure. though, yeah. because of how uh, you said because of how it was described that it was yeah like, pretty, like the pauldrons like, are like skull shaped and like I mean they're cool yeah they're but cool like, but like super dark and like necromatic yeah. is it more like looking almost um there is some like uh, I mean at least the motifs not necessarily the, the motifs energy, are like, definitely ne- necromatic yeah. You haven't really uh, gone over like thorough investigation elsewise in terms of magics and whatnot, but yeah, um, yeah the motif like... is like death. Interesting. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, Kiv says, uh, "Yeah, I, I don't know what's uh, where." What, What's the plan from here, guys? Do you feel safe being here when everything goes up? I know you said like you'd be you're okay with being with thirty people, but if something bad's happening, are you comfortable staying at the tower? I mean, I think somebody should stay here, right? Like, okay, just double checking. It's a defensible position for sure. Probably more than one solo, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I hear they got a wall there now, so maybe maybe Wintel is defensible. But just wanted to verify, make sure that you're safe. Yeah, I feel okay. Okay. Thanks for asking, though. That's really kind of you. So what's uh, Dimitri? Where are you guys going from here? I don't. What's the plan? Um, I think we might because if it's those fields there, we might make our way to Green Hall, which is just to the west of here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then make a stop off there, then head down to this orchard area to see if we can either find any <sighs> nefarious folks. Yes, bit. Um, Anton? Yes, Anton? No, I'm asking Kev. Oh. I'm sorry, you slipped into kobold there again. I don't know... No. Can you repeat that? Do you, do you remember common? Anton? Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. remember Anton? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. So he's an Emerald Blade, and Green Hall that he's talking about was like the hub of Emerald Blades, and we happen to have one right here. Pointing to Cooper. Oh, Cooper. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. I hear so, that. Yeah, it's cool. She, uh, Kip says, I hear that the, the Emerald Blades have kind of a mixed reputation here uh, around these parts, but that's probably just uh, lore and not real. Um, this one's how... a cool one. Oh, cool. Uh, where have you been? Uh, probably in the, the, the Glass Shores or something, right? Because that's where they all, where they all went. 
Yeah. Cool. I hear there's like a wild dating scene down there. Yeah. Some some of the some of the bandits have been to the glass shores and it's like an anything goes kind of never mind. Um yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, so, like, it's dangerous, so, like, you never know if you're going to make it to the next day all the time. Oh, so it's like, we could have just died type of... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Dimitri, where, where, what, uh, you're going to head to Green Hall then? Uh, so I'm not allowed... Yeah, uh, NX, I'm not allowed to touch the, the dragon, the shadow touch dragon thing. No, no, no. Now that I, I thought you were going to try and cut it up for more food. If you're, no. <laughs> if you're, you're actually using this for like, be my guest. So, uh, can I like steal its claws and, uh, do you, I like, don't, I mean, do you, re, do you mean remove its claw? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think like, it's technically theft at this point. <laughs> can, I, can I take the claws from its hands and feet, like its talon things, mm-hmm. and like the uh, the tip of its tail? Yes, you, you absolutely. I don't know can. why. I don't know why, but those are the things. Cool. Make a make a survival check for me. All right. Roll it down and then figure it out. Well, it's a nineteen plus whatever my modifier is. Survival. So a twenty five. Are you trying to get the talons individually or get like Chomp. the claws of the dragon? Like the talons individually. I okay, don't care about that's the fine. claws. Uh, you have uh, eight dragon eight? talons that seem pretty sharp. Uh, and then you have uh, a dragon tail that's kind of like barbed at the end. So you've gotten like the barbed tip of it, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Don't add, I don't even know why. I just... Okay. I, I guess since I started stealing stuff from the unconscious dude, uh, you know. He's landing for me. Yeah. You know. um, yeah, I'm going in there, I'm, too, and I want to, like, slash his horns off. Uh, make a... Sur- uh, you know what? We'll just do the one survival check. For exactly. Everybody. I was going to say. You get... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you get the... His... his, his uh, dragon horns um all told because i don't want to do like which what not person number three what specific parts do you want right um you guys get like eight claws the barbed tail point essentially i guess Mm -hmm. um two shadow touched red dragon horns uh 17 teeth yes and then because dimitri rolled a 25 you manage to uh, remove the breath gland from the dragon as well. Is that like you squeeze it and flame comes out? Um, not exactly. You haven't really like messed with. It. You're welcome to mess with it if you, if you want. Like judo chop it and then flame comes out. Do you, I mean? Do you want to find? Do you want to do that? Out? Not in here. Okay. <laughs> Um, as 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 Dimitri... <laughs> throw it like a grenade. <laughs> that would be the plan. Yeah. Um, yeah. as I see Annex pull the organ out of Dimitri's hand and start to motion, <laughs> I also grab it really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, and I go, "Do we think we should send this back over to Roscoe? He was really interested in like the Chimera things." Don't know what good it'll do us at that point, but I guess. Maybe, guys. What do y'all think, Morty? Do you have a use for this? Um, it could be used to have some alchemical component, but I don't know exactly what it'd be. I'm not. Ooh, am I alchemical? Because I know we had a regenerative grant gland at one point in time from the Chimera. The chimera. So there could be a different use that he might be able to solve it, salvage from there, but I do not know. And then I can show like my my healer's kid like he helped me with this. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. For, kid. for um for what it's worth, while I'm holding on to it and pondering about it, I'd like to cast identify while I'm touching it, and 
So it does not have magical properties. That's what I think here. Yeah, it's not a magical item. Um, It has, like, innate, like, natural properties that are similar to magical properties, but this is, like, an anatomy issue, not, like, a... Yeah, not magic. power thing, yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's just bring it with us for now. I think I lied. I think that this has... There's like a magical wooge about it. So there's a property associated with this gland and like the dragon in general that is similar, though slightly different to the unholy or the what is it? Desecrate. I'm getting my additions mixed up again. The the opposite of holy. Um, the opposite of hollow. Mm. I mean, desecrate is a spell. Um, what level is this? Fifth level evocation. Fifth level cleric spell. Oh. Um, so there's an aura about it that... be real annoyed when it's just desecrate i think it is just desecrate oh no it's still hollow because oh yeah have... it's still hollow older editions yeah. split them into separate spells mm. and so that's where i get confused but yeah once you um, said fifth level i'm like no, it's not yeah no it is it is it is in effect similar to the hollow spell mm. um but it seems to be like reacting with it seems to be like producing a hallowed effect um which is presumably what's causing this like gloom and heat and yeah yeah anyway uh okay so it's got unholy power is what you're saying okay yeah if we loosen the definition of unholy to like shadow plane stuff yeah for the sake of this campaign setting yeah exactly Okay. Eh, we could still take it with us. Unless we think giving it to Roscoe would be... Well, that would probably bring more down on the town, which would be negative. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of, as, as I'm feeling and, and, and learning this stuff about, um, about it, I go, uh, this feels like, it, it, as, as Vardy said, there's a magical whoosh about it that's just not great. Um, there's a possibility yeah. that wherever this is, wherever this is, is potentially made an unsafe place, and we probably don't want to bestow that upon Winds Hollow, or That's or true. a safe place, right? Like what? I mean, oh, from the things that the are attacking, way. because it works as kind of a a deterrent, like a deterrent, yeah, like a mask. Oh. So, like, this place has been masked by that gland. Well, by the dragon as a whole, which is stuff that you know. Yeah. Which is why oh, then, people have been resisting let's take it to with us. You. I mean, you probably could. This is, like, the source, seemingly, of that. But Yeah, we'll take it with us. Okay. I'll, we'll put it in a jar. Then. Okay. Yeah, we'll put it in a jar, put it around Morty's neck. Taking your own personal rain cloud around. Good to know. Why not? We can always sell it for stuff. If we need to. All right. And then I think outside of that, uh, do we have anything we need to drop off or pick up? Does anyone not want any other type of stuff? Nope. Uh... I think if nobody else has anything, Kiv, do you need anything? Do you need another Big Mar potion? Uh, no, that, that that stopped working for me a while ago. I don't know. It's oh. just like it's just like Kool Aid now. I don't know. I mean, it's just like <laughs> sugary fun drink now. That's definitely not brain. It's like lukewarm help now. Yeah, <laughs> like lukewarm. Help. It's, it's 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 just a shot of energy is all it is. So yeah. 
it's not okay. super helpful anymore. But thanks. And then, um, Clamor, do you need anything? No, I feel great. I think things are going to work out fine. I feel worried now. Last words. Oh, no. I feel worried now. All right. Well, if anything, just uh, send us a message if y'all need help. We'll see what we can do. Or actually, y'all can probably run to Winds Hollow, if anything, if it gets uh, too overwhelming here. Uh, there's also going to be some uh, dwarves. Is it dwarves? Dwarves and a minotaur? Yeah. Yep. That'll be passing by to start re, uh, uh, re-homing Gold Home. So they're going to resettle that area. So give them safe passage if you see them. Uh, sure. That seems fine. Yeah. Uh, sure. And then if anything, you know, roll with them if you need to. Okay. That seems great. Oh. Um, it, with some of the bandits, um, we are going to be going over to Gold Home. I mean, not Gold Home, to Greenwall. And Green if we somehow green hole, <laughs> damn man, um, if we needed to like also shuttle packages over to Winds Hollow, can you help with that? Yeah, we got like uh, thirty people here who uh, can take a couple of take a day trip, or I guess a couple of day trip down to Winds Hollow if you need stuff delivered and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. We could probably set something like that. Uh, there might be a lot of stuff. And if anything, you know, if you want to sell some random trinkets and things from Green Hall, um, magical trinkets that are quite amazing, you know. That Ma- magical, probably... magical trinkets that are quite amazing? Yes. Yeah. L- like a guiding bolt that'll guide you we exactly where like you need to go. We only have like two of those, and people really love those, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, if we don't get anything else, let's... uh. Let's let's make our way to Green Hall and pack it up and you know put further distance between us and Winds Hollow. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? Nothing else? Nothing else? Uh eventually that big black rock up there should start fading away. At least that's what I think. So Oh, cool. It'll it'll start to get better around here. Uh I was gonna destroy the tower, but Things seem nice now. Oh, I live here. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we you didn't mean that. Um, and I, the the dragon body slipping into kobold again. What? What? I don't speak kobold spit. You gotta keep it in common. If you want to, if you want to bury that dragon body, you can you can go and bury it out if you want. You know. Oh. Um, yeah, that, I suppose we should, if we're going to let it decay, we should find a place to do that that isn't my office. Yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, probably do it at night. Probably start by, like, just hacking it into bits. Eating it off the side of this building because there's a, uh, there's a landing that exists to the outside, isn't there? It's so, it's yeah. up a ladder so, and a trap up door. A ladder. Oh. <laughs> so how about this? Can I like um can I use mold earth to make a five foot pit and then inside that five foot pit put a a, a ball of fire so that as we toss bits of dragon fire. into it won't burst into flames because it's a dragon though. It was it's a fire, fire dragon. shadow dragon. All right, that won't work. Never mind. No, that's probably not going to work. But good, you, good thing. You could shoot lightning into it. You could shoot lightning into it. You could like cast necromantic spells. At, no, it's a shadow Oof. dragon. Oh, it's um, shadow. You could use. I don't know. It's gonna. It, it's gonna break down over time on its own. Um, if I pour I, dirt on it. It's probably a lot more. Yeah, I'm envisioning a kid just like hucking bits <laughs> out from like like Can hacking just... it into bits and hucking them out the trap door up the ladder. That's right. And letting it's it like, just rain dragon bits on on his new t- small town, but the witch is dead. But with dragon bits, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could we could we could stay the night and help sneak the dragon out if we want, or we could just continue west. Uh, you're the one that continue. makes that decision, Dimitri. Yeah, we'll, we'll 
What? It's your decision to make. I don't know much about this dragon at this point, but it sounds like if we left it to decay, that would then that would attract bad things. Would it not? I mean, decaying dragons attract bad things always, but the fact that you're letting it decay at all and and stopping the ruse could potentially attract bad things. But that's more what no, I was wait. worried about. But that was like an hour ago. <laughs> Yeah, I so they could they could keep on like touching it, even though we've hacked it up. No, no, no. You've bro, you've ruined that now. Uh, okay, cool. That is yeah. that's a thing that can't be done anymore. Oh right? yeah, no, no, no. That's fine. Um, yeah, well, we'll we'll stay the night and help uh, bury the dragon uh, away from the tower a little bit. Cool. Yeah. So some folks that uh, Kiv trusts, um, come up and they start like hacking it up. Uh, and just like, co- like crating it into crates, and carrying it off, and they, you help them take it, a couple of miles from this small developing town, and uh, put it in the pit, and then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Immediately, there's like uh, a sense of like relief, like like ter- terrain relief that occurs once like it's buried uh it'll take a while for all of the effects to wear off but like there's like this kind of like weight to uh the gloom that has been surrounding this this area that is that is immediately lifted do people seem happier uh yeah for the most part there's less like yeah i think so cool the light it it returns yeah um it takes a little bit of uh time for you to do that and then you know it's night time you have a place to crash here there's plenty of like extra beds yeah we'll crash here for the night all right um annex uh make a make a perception check I must take mute off. Uh, per, uh, 18. Um, throughout the night, you managed to like get woken up a couple of times to what seems like like subtle whispers. And you just hear like, that's ah, a good thing. And it's happened multiple times during the night. Yeah, that and like, I'm so pleased that they're getting rid of it. You just you pick some really good friends here. I'm really proud of you. Uh, are the, is it coming from any direction in particular? Uh, you're not sure. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like the first couple of times would have caught me by surprise. By the third time, would I not like bolt upright and start trying to investigate? Oh, you 100 percent do. From? Make an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> like you're not. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go back to sleep then. <laughs> Oof. Well. Um. Wait, uh, Benny, I'm gonna use a Benny. This seems like an important role. Okay. <laughs> that one's a lot better. Eighteen. Um. So you get up the third time it happens. You get up and you like start to like wander this tower looking for like what's whispering to you and you don't you don't see anything you're like maybe i'm just hearing stuff and you like kind of go you're like you go back to sleep and then the fourth time it happens you wake up and you're like all right this is some bullshit what is happening and like you think you've heard like clamor as a trickster so you're like is this just clamor being a dick but like you hear this whispering and he is just sawing logs with uh up uh, with next to Kiv, you're like I don't know what is going on, and then you realize you're hearing it. You're not hearing it. You're thinking it, like it's in your head. Something is communicating with you telepathically. Uh, hello, voices. Oh, good. You finally figured it out. 
I'm so happy to see that you're finally up to speed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh. Have we have we met? I would say so. Yeah, we've been working together for a while here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um. Remind me your name again. I just I have a real bad memory of these kinds of things. I'm Gene. Gene. <laughs> Gene. Yeah. Yeah. Gene. Um. G e e g e e n e. Gene. G Gene. Gene. Okay. Gene. Um. Where? What if? Um. I've been hit on the head a lot lately, so you'll have to you have, refresh my memory. Uh, yeah, what, so like we, where did we we like fought off like monsters, um, and then we uh, went into like uh, like a, a, a vault, and then we came out, and then we fought off some more monsters, and then we went to Winds Hollow, and that was cool, and there was like a carnival, but then like. There were other monsters that showed up, and we fought them off. Like then some like undead stuff happened, and that's real bad news. I am a huge uh, opponent of shadow monsters and undead. Shadow stuff is bad news, man. I don't mess with shadow stuff. Yeah, I I, I can't disagree with you there. Um, where are you? Actually? I'm right here. Well, yeah, but I don't. I can't see you. It's uh, a little concerning because I like to see who I'm talking to. Yeah, I just I just want to put a face to the I mean, to the voice. I mean, like you know? I don't really have like a face anymore. It's kind of like a thing. Like, but I we've we you see me all the time though. I mean, you see like the closest thing to me now, but like I'm not a hundred percent like alive anymore. It's complicated. But like, oh, are you? It's is is the spear on my back right now? Uh, yeah, the spear is definitely okay. <laughs> um, so if I kind of like, as I am both in character and as a human, starting to put the pieces together, mm -hmm. if I kind of like reach back towards the spear and just kind of like, just just this, oh, sort that, of brush it with my fingers. That feels nice. Oh yeah. Um, hey, you've uh, been really, really like. I'm so glad that we met yeah Actually, me too um, like i wasn't i was worried i was just gonna like rot there in that house for a long time and then like, like the 25 foot bear thing was pretty cool up. right that was real cool <laughs> oh man and I, you get oh, like oh i was worried that like no other druids were gonna come around because this place is kind of shitty and there's not <laughs> a lot of like druids in the region it's mostly like shadow monsters and whatnot which is kind of antithetical to druids. it's a whole thing but like then you showed up and like I feel like we're really connecting at like a spiritual level and like, you know, not every intelligent weapon gets a wielder as uh, that they can bond so closely with as, as you, Enix. I know I, I've met some like swords and whatnot that are just like dicks, but like you you you've, you've really you're really you seem like a cool guy you know and like, yeah, I, like I, I've got sometimes the swords been... get like they get like dick owners and that's kind of like what makes them like you know hurt people hurt people around. and whatnot but like you've heard um, of have you heard of flying swords oh yeah they're the word i hate them like i'm sometimes I'm not, Some I'm, are, I'm, right? I'm, but like, well i'm glad you're cool I actually have a question i've been dying to ask not literally dying to well not dying to ask i have a question i'd like to ask um if can we like just because I want it to to look cool sometime? Um, mm -hmm. I I want it like you know how you can heal people like that's I I love that you can heal people. I haven't actually used you like that yet, but I just want to like. Just like no no plank. no! You've totally can I, like, used me to heal people it, before. It, it, we've really like we've really been very oh, helpful. Okay. Like we've healed people and then we've like turned you into a giant damn bear and that was cool. <laughs> then we've like healed I, people again. It's a whole thing. So I, I, I have a question just because, like, I, yeah. we're, you know, like, spooky season is, is still, well, it's it's a couple of weeks ago now. But, like, if I, like, take you, if I want to heal somebody, can we just, like, pull a prank where I just, like, just, like, fully bury you, like, a foot inside someone's chest? Oh, no, that's a terrible just, idea. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I'm I never tried that spear. better. Like, okay, I mean, well, like, you, you're a spear that heals. so like I mean, like, yeah, so I guess, like, you can... To bury me in someone's chest and then like heal more than you'd normally have to oh, that seems uh, wasteful yeah I, I agree i don't like to be wasted i like to be used effectively efficiently i like to feel like i'm really making a contribution not like i'm you know 
holding the door or whatever, you know. Well, this is, is it, it's great meeting you. I've been, uh, I've, I've had a, a cryptic, I got a cryptic note when, when we first met that um, there are things about you I have not yet discovered. Oh. This is very on the nose. So it's, it's good to know that you, so have you, have you always been a spear or? Uh, no, I used to be a bugbear. Well, part of me used to be a bugbear. And then like uh, when my bugbear di- bug side died, like the weapon I used most had its own kind of personality and we kind of fused. And now we're like a combination of spear and bugbear, but still only really the spear form. Um, so my guess is like when you die, uh, there's a potential that like you and I could fuse, but maybe that's like that's probably like that's probably like overstating how strong our relationship is. We don't really have that yet, but like it's possible that like if we get along really well and like become buds and like best bros or whatever, like when you die, like we'll you'll just uh, we'll we'll get together and like hang out forever. And then we'll have, like, a new friend, hopefully, that's not a dick, but maybe could be, but is also a druid, because that's, like, a thing about the spear. They have to be druids, the whole thing. So, like, at least we'll know that they're a druid, and, like, that's really cool. Yeah, well, I, I'm not, um, to be clear, I'm not in a rush to die anytime oh, soon. Oh, I didn't I mean wanna, to, like, threat. Yeah, that no. wasn't, like, a threat or anything. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's just, like, what happens over time. Like, it's not, like, soon. It's, like, a thing someday maybe yeah well but, i do want to get know. to know you better but it's you know we got we got we got a good long yeah we got like a time we got anywhere between like three days and 65 years so like we're, we're good three days huh that's, i mean i don't that's... know you're like you're still a person like you could die but like well why three days it could be like right now i, I guess are, are you prone to heart attacks i don't know mate you could, I, it could be right now like three have yeah, you three been seconds. i don't know i mean you've have, you've you've been around spit you see how he just oh he is accident prone that could that, that could be dangerous and this does seem like a tower that's built out of dangerous things almost exclusively but like did you see those they got those fire potions upstairs being used as light bulbs that's wild that's wild like well, I didn't know I hadn't seen that actually. But yeah, I'm so there's like uh, in that. the office there's like hanging fire bombs that are like lit up because of the fire inside, and that's what they use as lights in this place. I don't. We should go like tomorrow because this place uh, isn't super yeah. safe. And if you're worried about dying in the next three days, like this is 100 percent a place that that could happen. Okay. But, like, does the the dragon situation have anything to do with uh, this? The three day mark. I'm not like a prophet. Like I'm not like predicting oh, okay. your death. I'm just saying like it could happen three in three days or like six. I don't know. Pick a number. Like really, uh, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, have you um have you do you know what have you met Bruce? Yeah, I mean like Bruce. Bruce made me like you know, eighty years ago. Yeah. Uh. Is he- you the 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 fusion or you the spear or you oh sorry how... yeah that does get confusing yeah 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 so bruce made me the spear and gave me the spear to a druid who was a frost folk they're not really around anymore they're like there's like a continent of the north it's like arctic um there was like some kind of connection in Rainwall, but it was like way to the north, kind of like where the Archdruid hung out. Uh, and then like we went further north, and there was like the tower with some like uh, artifact, and like uh, the gatehouse was a mimic. That was wild. It was the biggest mimic uh, I've ever heard of, uh, and it really nearly killed this group of people uh, called the Emerald Blades, I think. Uh, but then they killed the mimic, and then they went up the tower, and there were like these uh, stuff from another plane. And they were all like, "We don't deal with spells; we're immune." And then somebody was like, "What about fifth level spells?" It was like, "Ah, my one weakness: spells that are greater than third level." Um, and then, uh, then the person who was wielding me, the frost folk, he passed away, and then like he and old me. 
uh, or really getting along really well. And so they became the not quite as old me. And then Bruce gave the not quite as old me to Gene, uh, who is the bugbear, who is also me. And we became the the new me. Um, and now we're with you. Cool. Um, how long did it take you to be able to keep all that straight? Uh, it that was like really, look, it's all lived experience. Like it's easy to understand when you've gone through it, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, that makes sense. It's, it's Dax. The symbiote is all it is. Yeah, that's yeah. I was trying to not make that reference. Who? <laughs> Dax, the symbiote. Huh. It's Star Trek reference. Oh, all right. Yeah. But kind of a, a similar situation. Anyways. Um, uh, well, Hey, um, uh, do, can anyone else hear you? Oh no, way? it's just you and me, bud. Okay, is it cool if they know that you're like here? Oh, or I don't is care. Is that like our little secret? Okay, I don't mind. It's whatever. I guess like if somebody managed to like tap into your brain or whatnot, they could like hear. Like if there was like some sort of magic or whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe I could learn how to talk, like talk talk instead of like think talk. But like I haven't really like figured that out yet, you know. No, well, think talk's um, fine. I mean, because we're like, they don't. Weapons that talk talk almost always are dicks. Like you don't want to deal with weapons that talk talk. I mean, if I hadn't um, done really cool stuff with you, I'd probably be concerned about the the, the mentally talking. No, no, no. Think talking myself. Fine. Think talking. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super um, commonplace for intelligent weapons. Well, um. There's like 80 of us, I guess. Like uh, a oh. Uh, 80. Uh, are there are there more nearby? No, can, no, no, no. Can no, like, no. Oh. No, I mean, like, no. Like, there are some other intelligent weapons that are like god weapons, and it like lets you communicate with a god itself, but like the god is somewhere else, and so it's not the same. But like in terms of like weapons that are just intelligent and not conduits for communication with intelligent beings somewhere else, there's only like 80 of us. And we're kind of like dispersed throughout the realms and whatnot. Um, but like, you know. I love how I was getting like kind of more surfer dudes as this goes on. I really appreciate that. Um, it's because my voice is getting gravelly. I <laughs> can't too much else. <laughs> uh, shoot i just forgot what i was gonna ask oh is there so is it um is there something i could be doing to to kind of get us on more of a wavelength together can i can i be using you differently or better or uh you know i've only used you in like two different ways and they're i think i stabbed someone once and it felt kind of weird but look like i don't have a lot of like powers right like i've only got really like the two powers right now and that's like oh let's heal stuff or like no let's it's turn the, into the, a big damn the best bear. powers on the planet um and so like i guess like maybe over time i could like get better and have extra stuff but like it's it just comes with a lot of this stuff comes with time you know and it's like you, you can't just like build a relationship on a foundation of nothing like you gotta like put the time in and yeah, like, totally. yeah you know we've only known each other for like two weeks now right like you found me not very long ago it feels like months because the connection like months. is so strong <laughs> but like really it's only been like two weeks since you found me uh in the iron ironwood so like you know well, how do you like the, the the holster the cooper made oh it's way cool that guy knows his stuff man like, oh, I'm really excited to see what he does with that fancy red kite string. Oh, it's going to be cool. Yeah, he hits stuff really hard and makes really cool Yeah, stuff. It's what great. a boss. He's like a truck. He accidentally I killed mean, that guy. Not a truck. Why do I know? Why do I think I know what a truck is? He's like, uh, what's a truck? I don't know, but the word seems to be appropriate. But like, <laughs> I don't really know. Gosh, it's like a, like a like a mammoth, like hitting people like a mammoth. <laughs> with a huge uh uh what weapon does he have a glaive yeah it's like a it's like a spear but like has extra accoutrements yeah, it, on it it was it's really fine. cool and also really awful when he when he when he accidentally murdered he that dude accidentally... yeah <laughs> it was pretty brutal holy cow I, I, it was i hear that guy was a dick though so it's probably yeah it's true 
Well, um, hey, uh, should I, um, it's kind of like 4 a.m., so I'm a little, you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But, like, I don't really um, have to sleep, so it's not like a thing yeah. to think about. My bad. Well, let's uh, let's take this up in the morning. Yeah, we'll uh, table kinda, it for now. Yeah, I want to introduce you to everybody. Well, I mean, I'll have to introduce. They're going to think that I'm a little, you know, but because I don't know if they've had interactions with magical um, weapons before. But can you, like, you know, glow really impressively or something when, no, when I tell them sorry, that you're saying No, oh. glowing powers, man. Like I said, um, like, it's just like the heels are like the big damn bear thing, you know? All right. Well, I'll I'll, I'll let them know what's going on. I'll, I'll try and kind of like, we have an Emerald Blade with us. Actually, Cooper, the guy oh, that really? made the, the rope. Yeah, he's. Oh he's no, he wasn't blade, one so. of them that was in up there. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good to know. But he he might. Do you think he'd know the story? Does it uh, matter? I don't know. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know how tight the organization is, or like what institutional lore they have among them, or like the organizational culture. You know, it's all it's all relative. You know. No, they have a wiki page somewhere. No, but I hear they do have a Reddit, but I don't know what a Reddit is. So like, it's weird. There's a lot of like. But you know what a wiki page is? I know they don't have one, but I don't know what it. It's a weird scenario. I wish they did have a wiki page. Like, if somebody made them a wiki page, that would be really cool. But like, it'd be really, it'd be I don't really have time to make for them a wiki else page. The party. And I don't even really know what a wiki page is. So like, I don't know, man. Well, cool. I'm going to go uh, back to sleep because, again, you know, like... Yeah, yeah. It's um, like super and, late. My bad. No, it's cool. Um, I, it'd be good to meet you. Um, yeah. We, this is... Well, we're going to be meeting each other a lot. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, because, we're not meeting each other because we know each other now. Like, that's how yeah, well, knowing it's like you people can, works. You could, you, it, but it keeps the relationship interesting if you pretend that, you know, you're meeting each other the first time oh, every like single role time. Play. You know? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, but all right i'm gonna just that was supposed to be sleep yeah i don't yeah. know who's like this. That, yeah. <laughs> um, uh dimitri the the sun rises in the morning well actually just to be oh. clear have i been speaking out loud to yeah 100 like time? you have not figured out how to think in your head <laughs> how to think talk you know how to talk talk he knows how to think talk you haven't like picked up that skill yet, so yeah. Well, I'm There's glad like that a couple nobody... of people that are like that live here that are like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, you know, you know, you haven't woken up any of your friends. I mean, none of your companions. Maybe you're gonna adopt these like random people who live here as friends, but whatever. Anyway, Dimitri, anyway. Uh, the <laughs> yes. mor- the sun rises in the morning, and you guys get some chow, some food. Enix says some crazy ass thing about how his spear talked to him and how he's gonna show you, and then he just like looked at his spear really hard and nothing really happened. Um, but you are you're headed out, right? You're headed to uh, Green Hall. Yeah, heading heading towards Green Hall, so we could start to make our way towards those orchards. Yeah, are you gonna stop in Green Hall before you head south? You're gonna kind of like go like straight, kind of southwest to those orchards. Uh, I was going to see if, like, if we could pick up, like, I kind of want to pick up a quiver of arrows that has random whatnots with them. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so you, uh, you, you set the, the target for Green Hall yep. and you start to move down the road. This is a less well-traveled road. It's going to take a full day to get there and we will get there next week on in, or two weeks from now on In the Red. Uh, thanks everybody for hanging out and playing slash watching along. Uh, check us out on Patreon. Five, uh, three bucks a month gets these folks a Benny. Fifteen bucks a month gets them a Fey Spirit and or NPC, or gets me one of those things to pester them. Um, find us on Facebook and Instagram, where we don't post a lot of stuff right now because I am in graduate school, but. Uh, we'll get back on track here pretty soon. Um, other than that, uh, head uh, over to initiativecoffeeco.com, buy yourself some coffee, support us, support uh, Jasper's Game Day uh, with our Metada Roast, which is a partnership with Mini Terrain Domain and Jake Norman. 
Uh, we have some remaining partnership with Holly Conrad for Rise Above Disorder uh, left. Uh, but other than that, uh, have fun, play safe, play with friends. And as always, until next time, roll together. Thanks, guys.